Australia's surfing imam is one of a rare breed. Hyson Farachi is a homegrown cleric and works at one of Sydney's biggest mosques. He's been riding these waves since he was a child. Surfing is his passion. The blue waters of the Pacific Ocean are a world away from the rigours of a strict religious life. Board riding, though, has become an important tool of his trade. It's a way to relate to, to people and it's a, it's a starting point to talk about. You know, and also people realise that although we may look a little different and our way of life may be to them a little weird, you can say, or maybe a little different when you come down or when I come down and I catch a couple of waves and I, I, you know, I, I really feel in tune with myself, I really tune, feel in tune with God and I feel in tune with, with Australia and nature. Many imported imams don't speak English and may lack a true understanding of Australia's way of life, its love of sports and of course the beach. By connecting with younger Muslims and by speaking their language, this new generation of locally born religious leaders is becoming a powerful modernizing force. At Sydney's Lakemba Mosque, Hyson Farachi is a spiritual advisor. The senior clerics here understand that the need for change has become unstoppable. And they've said that this is what's necessary, that the young people need to hear somebody who they relate to, someone who speaks not only their own language but their own lingo. A lack of fluent English caused problems for the former Mufti of Australia. Sheikh Taj al-Din al-Hilali upset an entire nation when he compared immodestly dressed women to uncovered meat who invited sexual assault. Some community leaders believe younger Muslims need better spiritual guidance. Are they Australian? Are they Lebanese? Are they Muslim? They still don't know. And I think we need to be able to provide them with a foundation, particularly the sheikhs, the imams, who are looked upon as, as very um, uh, respected leaders of the community, need to be able to provide that, and they need to be young, homegrown imams. Moderate thinkers are on the front line in efforts to stop Muslims here being seduced by extremism. The number of locally born religious leaders is still small. The tide, though, is turning, and the modern face of Islam in Australia has...